Here is a Toshiba SA400. I just picked this up today. It's a stunning looking piece of equipment and it's got some weight to it. Now I'm not really familiar with Toshiba as a receiver or stereo company, um, but I'm familiar with the name Toshiba. I don't think they're sort of like a high-end, like a mass produced company like Pioneer or Sansui or Akai or uh, Yamaha. Um, uh, to me, I think Toshiba actually did other things as well, like refrigerators and air conditioners. Oh boy, Wil Walter is going crazy over there. Uh, but anyways, this is um, a nice, nice, nice receiver. And I need to do a little bit of work on it. And over here is your power button. It's a dial form and you go directly to speaker A, B, or what they call the four channel adapter. It's not really four channel, but um, that's what it's called. Uh, the lights, the meter lights there, looks like I have to replace some more lights over there, but it's a nice green color. I don't know if the camera's picking that up, but it's quite nice. Um, this multi-frequency responder, it's wonderful. Um, so you do have 1K or 400 Hertz or 1K and four kilohertz, uh, for your treble and your bass adjustments, which is quite nice to have that option to be able to do that. Um, the dial form, the click as you rotate them, it clicks. Your balance here doesn't click at all, not even on center, but um, that's that. Your volumes over here, aren't they stunning looking knobs with the silver in the back and the black on? They feel nice too. I like the way they feel. So your um, options here are for your AM, mono, FM, auto, and then phono and auxiliary. You see that some of the silk screening text of the phono has come off a little bit. Now look at these nice little switches over here for your loudness, your stereo or mono, or going to your tape. I just like the look. I mean, they, they've done a really good job with their knobs. And this is a nice looking receiver. It's like clean it all up. I'm sure it's going to look a lot better. Now, um, the back, you do have the option with your pre and main. They're coupled with a, an RCA cable or a little coupling tool, which is nice. So you can separate them out and just use this as your preamp or use it as a uh, power amp or separate it up and throw another um, equalizer or, or what have you in the mix. Um, but that's it. This is all nice and steel. That's wood. Looks like a um, plastic veneer over the wood, but that's in very nice shape. Let's turn it, on, turn it off here and let's turn it around and have a look at the back. Now the speaker jacks, you can see here that the screw type, not my favorite, but they get the job done. And your antennas are over here. Now they have a, what they call over here is local or DX. I'm not sure what that is, but it's something to explore. And your jacks for your phono, auxiliary, pre out, and rain in, and then your tape deck over here. Or you can use your five pin hook up in that side. Made in Japan, so I think it's made in Japan 1973, 1974, around there. <laughs> Tokyo Shibadura Electric. I grew up in Japan and um, I was there in Japan 1973, I was there in 69, so I was there right through when this um, came out. Yeah, very nice. Anyways, that's it. That's the Toshiba SA400, 15 watts per channel into 8 ohms, 1973-1974 stereo receiver. It's a good one. Thanks for watching.